Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday, April 10th, 2024. Let's get the microphone over here, guys. I don't know about you. I noticed that yesterday when I watched the video. I tell you guys that I go back and watch them because I'm going to say, I'm going to say 100% of the time, I have no clue what comes out of this mouth. So I like to go back and just listen what was said, what came out of this mouth, see if there's anything that needs corrected. There was something the other day, but it wasn't cr critical enough. It wasn't distorting the word of God. So God just took that away from me. But anyway, I noticed yesterday's video sounded weird. Didn't sound right again because I forgot the microphone. Praise God. And I uh, praise God for every one of you. And I thank every one of you for today's title. Uh, again, it's uh, April 10th, 2024. It's 4.54 p.m. Running a little bit behind. Just got back from the middle school. We had a poster contest to one of the organizations I belong to here in Thermont. God's awesome. Been promoting this for over a month. In the past month, there's only been four kids that got permission to join us today after school for this poster contest. Guys, uh, call it what you will. I think I was telling my brother Davis today, and I told somebody at school today, I was like, I had a dream last night that there was going to be, I saw, I just saw the list of names, and the list of names wasn't four names. There was at least 12 names on that list. And I got got there today and, you know, the four kids came and well, then another another after school club decided to join us and take part of this poster contest. Guess what? There was a, there was about 12 to 14 kids that came. Amen. So if God was speaking to me in my dream. I'm truly going to believe that because I know he can. I think guys and like our title today, guys, go slow, slow down our background. We need to slow. We are in such a hurry to try to figure out God's plan to try and get to that finish line. I said the other day, about, I'm, I wish God would hurry up and speed up a little bit. I need to, to and I did. I said, God, forgive me for that. That should never come out of my mouth. Just trust in his perfect timing, his perfect plan. Amen. We all know about the hustle and the bustle and just not enough time in the day. We, being in the blessing that we're in, folks, we should never think like that and talk like that. We can, But we do. We do it. We get, we get anxious we, we do all the things the bible tells us not to do even as believers but god he continues to convict us and correct us he does not condemn amen so go slow go slow it's a it's a marathon it's not a sprint this this, this walk we're in folks our scriptures today is oh, what we got here looks like psalm 37 folks and i'm not even sure what i've got highlighted for today's link i don't know how i'm going to do this yet Psalm 37, verses 3, 7, and 34. I'm going to say, if you're in Psalm 37, read whatever the Lord puts on your heart. But this is what we got for our lead off. Word of God says this. Trust in the Lord and do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself. Wait on the Lord and keep his way, and he shall exalt thee to inherit the land. So we got trust, rest, and wait are the three key words that pop out to me in those three verses. Ooh. Our devotional today is in two sections. First section is 365 devotions on the power of prayer, and it reads this. Waiting continually on God, uh, Hosea chapter 12, verse 6 with calm endurance seems almost impossible. Folks, I know I can I know I'm not the only one that feels that way sometimes, if not the majority of the times. That that microwave mentality we mentioned so many times and just we want to if anybody's ever seen that movie with uh Adam Sandler click where he's got that remote control so he can fast forward, pause and rewind and race and things in life. That's what we want to do, folks. I know if anybody's seen that movie the thoughts probably been there, man. That would that would be nice to have that. But guess what? God, God's our remote control, and it's perfect timing. We're not allowed to have the remote, <laughs> um, and it is without God, and all things are possible. But with God, all is possible. Multiple scriptures that back that up. Psalm thirty-seven gives some tips on how to get there from here. Trust in God and do good where you are. Just. And I said that to some of these kids tonight, they were sharing some of their testimonies. The poster contest was about drug awareness and education and things like that. And just the, the kids were just 
share them with me. And, and I just plainly told them, I said, all you can do is worry about you. You just need to know that whatever you're doing, you're doing, you're doing the right thing. They were telling me about their grades. I'm like, okay, your grades, there's nobody's fault, but your own. It, it's just awesome. Just, just follow God and just always do good. Just always do good. Feed on your faith while you're waiting. Best way to feed on your faith is reading the word of God. Rest in God without worry. There we go. Do not fear. Do not worry. Multiple times knowing that he's working things out according to his plan and has everything under control. Just keep calmly walking in the way he's already laid out for you. Man, we got to quit trying to look for the shortcuts to quit trying to take a different path. He's already there. I told my brother today at lunchtime and I was just sitting there meditating, watching a, a YouTube video. It was a virtual walk through the woods and guys that speaking to me and I'm watching this video of this path, beautiful crickets chirping or birds were chirping. The stream was crickling and babbling and bubbling. And I'm looking at this path and it's like, God said, this is the path that I have you on. And it's windy and it's uphill. It's a lot of rocks, a lot of sticker bushes across the trail. But guess what? There was nobody else on that trail. That's the trail God has given me. God has given you a trail. We tend to want to, again, try to take that shortcut and we want somebody on that trail with us. And that's a different topic, but just the things that God speaks to me that are worth sharing it ties right in with the cup we've all been given. We're all we're all on the, the windy, hard, difficult path that the word of God backs up to get to that final destination. Um, the next thing you know, you'll have let go of your worry and gained his peace. Just spending time with him and all that. Praise God. So trust, rest, and wait. In our last part here, folks, we'll end on this, is a poem by Helen Steiner Rice. I think I can get this one out. It reads this. It might be a prayer. I don't know. I think it's a poem. We're going to read it, folks. God, teach me to be patient. Teach me to go slow. Teach me how to wait on you when my way I do not know. Teach me sweet forbearance when things do not go right, so I remain unruffled when others grow uptight. Ooh, guys, this is beautiful. Teach me how to quiet my racing, rising heart, so I might hear the answer you are trying to impart. Teach me to let go, dear God, and pray undisturbed until my heart is filled with inner peace and I learned to know your will. Guys, that's a beautiful poem. That's a beautiful prayer. God, get this seeking the wisdom, just seeking the wisdom and the guides of God, folks. This is beautiful, folks. We're going to leave it alone on that one. Not going to dissect it. Thank you for joining me today. Until tomorrow, Thursday, the 11th. I, you might want to rewind that and read that poem again or that prayer. That's a good one. So, guys, thank you for joining. Until tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your day. And we will see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.